the kettle whistles and it is time for tea, I think of those who made it just for me. Hello and welcome to the first day of our month of tea brewing. Uh, my first choice might surprise you because I'm going to talk about brewing tea using microwaved water. Now, I honor the people who feel like the microwave flattens out the, the robustness in a nice fresh cup of water, but there are times where it's the best choice. One of those could be in a restaurant. I'd rather have a microwaved cup of water if I really want that cup of tea than water that's been run through the coffee um, uh, filters. And the second place is in a motel room where you have the little instant, uh, the choice of the little tea coffee brewer or the choice of a microwave. I'll choose the microwave. So the one thing about the using the microwave is that if someone has just uh, exploded a, a dish of meatballs and spaghetti with, and the red sauce is dripping off the top, it's going to change the flavor of your cup of tea. Water's going to absorb whatever was cooked previously. One thing you can always do, you're using, of course, a container that is, is glass uh, or pottery, but can is microwave safe because it has no metal, and simply cover it. Um, then I'm going to show you, you can actually tell when the water is boiling. Not by the, there's no thermostat in there, and I don't really, I actually don't recommend that you spend much time sitting in front of a, a functional microwave. So can you hear the water boiling now? It's a full roll and boil to make the, I'll show you. Hear it? This is my canning jar, and this is my Gai Wan lid that fits because of the, the curved surface, it fits very tightly over the jar. And I can take that off. The tea I'm going to use is actually Bigelow's Constant Comment. And I'll show you another thing that you may, if you haven't used Constant Comment or some of the other Bigelow teas in a while, you may not know. They've redesigned their tea bag. There's no staple. This is actually tied, looped around on the tag as it is on the back. Now, I know this isn't economical. They didn't do it for economy. I think that it was done so that if, for instance, oh my goodness, look at that. That water was really hot. I let it, I let it boil in there a little too long just to, so that you could hear the, the lid tinkling. So now that I have brewed the constant comment tea to the strength that I want to serve it, don't really want to serve it in a mason jar. For my guests, I would rather serve it in one of my little antique silver teapots. Now, would you guess, would you ever guess that this was brewed in, in a microwave? There's no way to know, especially not if you put it in a beautiful teacup. Of course, serve it with some great bake, home-baked goods or some lovely fresh fruit. My other reason for choosing Bigelow's constant comment today is to honor the fact that they're in their 70th year of a family-owned tea business that I think has enjoyed great success, brought a lot of people to specialty teas, and uh, continues to be family run by the third generation of the Bigelow family. So if you, so for your tea homework, if you choose to accept it, if you want to decide if there is a difference that you can detect from kettle boiled water and microwave boiled water, get two of the same containers, uh, heat the same amount of water to the same temperature, brew it with the same amount of tea for the same length of time and then take, cool it down to where you really can taste the subtleties. Sometimes drinking your tea too hot, you'll miss a lot of the more subtle tones in the tea. What I, I did find a very small difference, um, but I don't want to tell you. I want you to find out for yourself. I'll see you tomorrow as we brew another tea a completely different way. I hope you are in, going to enjoy this whole series and stick around 
till the end when we get to some of the more unusual teaware, some of the more modern trends on tea brewing. When the kettle whistles and it is time for tea, I think of those who made it just for me. Farmers in the green fields very far away, pruned and picked and dried it in a special way. Looking in my teacup, sometimes I think I see many people sipping round the world with me. When the kettle whistles and it is time for tea, all these new friends smile and share my tea with me.